I've always been interested in design and I was always creative as a child. When I was 16, I wanted to be an architect and then decided to be a textile designer. I've got lots of different things that I've accumulated over the years. And in fact, even when we lived in our previous house, I had a room that felt very much like this. So I think it's really important to find that kind of space that you just feel really comfortable in. I'm very organized in my work. I love um, simple, arranged patterns. There's something in the rhythm of that, and that, that kind of does come into the way I am at home. So I love, I love arranged kind of setups. I like things in straight lines. I do like things to be kind of clean. To find a big mirror that I really loved, was it was a bit of a challenge, and I, and I, it, I was kind of on a mission for a while. This was a door architrave from a bank. I managed to get someone to put the piece of wood at the base and we put glass in the back and it just, I think it looks great. I've had it for years and it's just one of these pieces that will follow me around. Colour is such a huge part of my work and I love layering colour. I love colour on colour on colour. Mostly for me colour is um, nature influence because it's, it's just the most amazing source of wonder. I've colour coded the books and you know I, I know it seems quite um, over the top but actually it's a visual thing. I do love it. So this sofa that I'm sitting on with Ivy is part of our new collection that um, I love because it's it's candy pink which is always a cute colour. It's a little bit of fashion in your house. It's, it's a lovely small piece that kind of fits and fits anywhere. This is the daisy stool. And I, and I love it because it's our four petal flower, an element I've been designing with for years and it's very much part of our kind of iconic signature. It really is super cute. Rugs are really important in my whole kind of aesthetic and look because I think they're a real opportunity to be bold and strong. You know, the idea of art on the floor to me feels very powerful. I love the print on this chair and I love the fact that the chair really does reference mid-century. We have this lovely little outdoor terrace, the, the width of the house, that's, um, that catches the sunlight in the evening around six o'clock and it's just such, at the end of a day, it's just the nicest place to sit and, um, and kind of enjoy looking at the garden from a little bit higher and um, sometimes chatting with neighbours. What I love about this kitchen is the social aspect of it. It's a fun kitchen where we can cook and eat and relax. We have this whole kind of wall of walnut, which I think is really cosy. It was just important to have a bold wall of, of pattern and that's one of my favorite, well, it's a great color. I love mustards and yellows, but also it's our rhododendron. So that to me feels, like a nice lead into the garden. You know, what I love about mid-century is I love the kind of, the, the concept of form and function. They, they, they weren't really into over-decorating, so when, well, you know, when things are there, they usually have a purpose. I would love our customers to feel inspired by colour, to feel inspired by pattern, and to feel that adding something of ours will just lift their home and actually cheer them up because colour at home makes you just feel happy.